Hey everyone, Sammy here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to basically fix audio delay, audio desync with the Elgato Game Capture HD and a program called OBS. So OBS is the program that you use to record and stream your different gameplay from the Elgato or anything like that. And so what you'll need to do is you will need to head over to settings first of all. We want to actually head over to the audio section here. Now because USB capture cards mostly carry delay, you're going to need to really experiment with this field right here until you get it perfectly. Now I found with the Elgato Game Capture HD, it's about 1500 milliseconds. So for example, when I'm talking in the game, and I'm talking, sorry, in my stream, uh, from about when something actually happens in the game, it's about 1.5 seconds later that my actual voice will then get to that part get to the stream. So what we need to do is we need to match them up. And so what I've selected it as is 1500. So you'll know for a fact that 1500 with the Elgato Game Capture HD and not the HD60, there's a difference. There is a, there is a little bit of a, a difference with the HD60. The HD60 has not as much of a delay. So you'll need to experiment with that until you get it the right sort of area. For your liking. The other thing that we need to do is we need to head over to advanced and we need to change the scene buffering time. So we need to change that from 700 which is by default to 400 like so. The other thing you'll need to do is make sure that you have it on the right FPS as well. So 30 or 60 FPS should be fine and so then once we've done that we can click OK. Now something that I like to sort of sort of give you guys as a tip is select it as a global source. So if you've selected it as a global source, that means that any of these different ones here, you can actually have different scenes uh, with your Elgato Game Capture HD 60. So you can have overlays and stuff like that. Very, very useful. And once we actually go into the properties of that, we want to select uh, custom resolution as these settings here, or you could change them to 1280 up to you, your preference. And then we also want to choose use buffering as zero and uh, make sure that audio input device is selected on use device audio, not Elgato Game Capture HD 60. So once we've done that, click OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on preview stream and it's going to say one moment, please. And it's going to start loading up uh, basically the console that you have. Now, this is very useful. So if you guys are having this issue uh, with OBS, it's very useful. The same could be applied with uh, XSplit if XSplit has an issue with you. Uh, so very useful little tip, guys. I hope you guys sort of enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave some love and leave a like. And subscribe for uh, any more videos like this, topics and unboxings. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.